Well, good morning, everybody. My name is William Dunn, and we're going to be painting a little vineyard scene. This is from the kind of Napa area in California, uh, the wine country, as they call it. And today, um, I'm going to work on Fabriano 140-pound rough paper. This is a block of paper, which... Uh, I like sometimes. And one thing I always am aware of, if I draw a vertical line through the photo, reference photo here, it's going to extend out and be roughly the same proportion as my paper. So we're going to try to do something interesting with that. And um, the composition is pretty good as is. I shot this photograph myself. And when I shoot... A reference photograph, I'm very mindful of the composition, so I can usually, not always, look and the composition in the photo is exactly or very nearly the one I'm going to use when I paint. And I think what I'm going to do is consider that the house and the vineyard is probably some of the major items I want to put in this painting. So here we go. I'm going to take this one out, that tree right there. I do like these other trees, and I like the trees behind the roof as, as they show here. The reason the trees are dark, the roof is light, so it gives me contrast. And when you're painting watercolor, I don't know, it's probably true in all painting, the value of the color the lightness and darkness of it is more important than the actual color. I don't know if you can tell, but my block of color is resting on a kind of a box here. <clears throat> so I have about a 30 degree slant in my paper. And the reason I like that is that the gravity pulls my washes down and of course, gravity is always there and it's always predictable. So that's a good thing. It's a little bit of dark down in there because there's a little bit of shadow, shadowy area. And I can go back and do that a little later. So these are perhaps going to look like individual plants here, a few leaves and so on. But the back ones won't look like that. I don't always consciously think of it but I see it happening again I have cool color all this green with warm colors next to it and that's always kind of a good thing to do to stimulate the painting it'll look better than it might look otherwise so I don't want them to be all perfectly evenly spaced and all that because I did kind of start that way a little bit here so let's Wake up the party here a little bit. I don't get too careful of these things. If I do, I just know what happens. They look stiff, and I'm then unhappy with the result and don't feel good about it. So I'm more inclined just to put it down quickly, 